French and travel. Well, I found that uh, if you knew French and you traveled and you, you could get by in any country that you go to, Nigeria, Germany, Italy, Ireland, Egypt, France, all these places. I'm Lionel, I'm 80 years old. I was born in Sydney, Nova Scotia, and I lived there for 17 years, and then I left to join the Air Force. In the 50s, we were at war in Korea. The only way that you could get out of Sydney was by volunteering for the military. There were two jobs we had. One was in the mines and one was on the steel plant. And I vowed I was not going to go to either one of them. So the only way to get out and get an education and see the world was to join the military. I ran into a lot of emergencies, a lot of things I had to make decisions on, and uh, that trained me to look after myself. I'm pretty confident in my own abilities. The Air Force taught me that. In the Air Force, at flying duties, I was by myself most of the time. It's not that I'm a loner, but I can be a solitary person. I'm happy just being in the apartment, picking up a book. What I do is a, a, I take a week of uh, KD, what I call KD kitchen duties. I make all the meals, I wash the dishes, do all sorts of stuff like that. So that keeps me occupied. I find a way to keep myself occupied. But if I don't want to be, then I don't. That's it. We were married in 1961, okay, so we've been together a long time, yeah. Well, except when I was flying, I was away a lot. Fortunate for me, we uh, hooked up. <laughs> Why, I don't know, because I was on the road three weeks of every month. And being an airman, I wasn't making much money in that time. I didn't even have a car. So it always amazes me why she stuck with me. <laughs>